Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're great. So in this video, I wanna show you how to make a simple player stats component with health, XP, and level. So I'm using here keys on the keyboard just to show how this works, but we can take damage, as you can see. And if you look into the top left, you can see that you're receiving damage event. So we have uh, events for all things that we have in this player stats component, right? So we can take damage, we can heal, as you can see, the health bar goes up and down as we take damage and as we've been healed right we can add xp as well and if we reach the uh, required xp to go to the next level we go from level 0 to level 1 and then level 1 to level 2 and so on so this is basically what i'm going to do in this video and in the second video i will show you how to make the ui right so this is part one and this series we will have basically two parts this first part for the uh, player stats component and the second part for the ui so if you do like this video please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content and without further ado let's start okay so first let's create the component so let's go to the folders, blueprint. Here I will create a new folder for components. Let's open this and here let's create a component. So right click and go to blueprint class, actor component, and I will name this DPC player stats. Now let's open this and let's make the code. First, let's create some variables. So here in variables, let's create a new one. I will name this current health. This is a float. Let's create another one for the max health. This is a float as well. Let's create another one for the um, current level. And let's change the type here to integer, like this. Let's create another one for the current XP. And let's change the type here to float. Another one for the XP to next level, like this. This is a float as well and another variable for the next level xp factor and this is a float as well now let's make some functions to manipulate those variables so the first one will be take damage so here in functions let's create a new one i will name this take damage and this function will need one input so just select the function here and in inputs just add one i will name this um, damage like this and let's change the type here to float and now let's do the code first we need to subtract the damage from the current health so let's drag the current health in the graph like this just hold ctrl on the keyboard and drag the variable to create a get node like this um, and from this get node let's drag and type minus to get a subtract operator like this and in the second pin let's connect the damage and now we need to check if the current health after subtracting the damage here is less or equal than zero. So let's drag from the results here and let's type less or equal to have this operator here. And this is a boolean, so let's connect in a branch. So let me just connect here. So in this case, if this is true, that means that we are dead. And if not, that means that we just take damage, right? So if this is false, we will set uh, this result as the current health. So let me just drag this down here and let's hold alt on the keyboard and drag the current health um, in the graph like this and let's connect this result here as the current health and of course let's connect the false pin in the set node like this. And if this is true we need to set the current health as zero. So let's hold alt on the keyboard and drag the health again in the graph like this. Let's connect from the true and this time let's leave the current health as zero like this and that's basically it for the take damage function now i just want to create some event dispatchers so later we can bind some code to these events um, if we want so here in event dispatchers let's create a new one i will name this on death like this and let's create another one let's name this on damage and now let's call this event. So basically, if this is true and we set the current health to zero, we died, right? So we need to call this dispatcher here. So let's drag the on death in the graph and let's call this. Let's disconnect here. 
and when we take some damage here let's call the on damage event dispatcher so let's just drag in the graph and call this event dispatcher so now later we can bind some code to this event to do something when we died right and when we take damage now let's create another function to heal right so here in functions let's create a new one i will name this heal and this will need one input so just select here and in inputs let's add one i will name this heal amount like this and this is a float as well so now i want to call another event dispatcher here each time that we heal right so here in event dispatcher let's create a new one i will name this on heal and let's call this event here in this function like so so every time that we heal we can bind some code to do something um, to this event right now we need to add this heal amount into the current health variable so let's drag the current health in the graph like so and from this let's type plus to get the add operator like this and of course in the second pin let's connect the heal amount and now we need to check if these results here is greater than the uh, max health right so let's drag from the results here and let's type greater this one here and in the second pin let's connect the max health like this and now let's connect this in a branch let me just connect here there you go okay so if this is true that means that after we add the heal amount here the current health will be more than the max health right so we need to set the current health to be the max health and if this is false that means that we can add uh, straight away the heal amount right so if this is false let's drag the current health in the graph like this uh, holding alt to create a set node let's connect here from the false and here we just need to connect these results here like so but if this is true that means that we need to set the current health to be the max health so again let's hold alt on the keyboard and drag the current health in the graph and let's connect from the true here but this time the current health will be the max health so let's drag the max health in the graph and connect here and there you go now let's make a level up function so here in functions let's create a new one i will name this level up like so and now let's do the code first i want to call another event dispatcher every time that we level up right so here in event dispatcher let's create a new one i will name this on level up like this and let's call this in this function so just call here let's connect the execution pin and now we just need to add one in the current level so let's drag the current level in the graph and from this let's type add to get the add operator and in the second pin let's put one here right and now we just need to um just set this as the current level so let's hold alt on the keyboard and drag the variable to create a set node like this let's connect here and of course the current level will be these results here like so and I actually want to pass the new level as an input for this on level up here. So let's select the on level up event dispatcher and here on the inputs, let's add one by clicking in this new parameter here, right? And let's name this a uh, new level and let's change the type here to integer like this. And now we just need to connect the results here as well in the new level like this in the input of the on level up event dispatcher okay so now let's create the add xp function so here in functions let's create a new one i will name this add xp and this function will need one input so just select here and in inputs let's add one i will name this xp and this will be a float like this so um as the other ones here first we need to call the event dispatcher right so here in event dispatchers so let's create a new one i will name this on add xp and now let's call this here in the function like so so now let's do the code to add the xp so first we need to add this xp into the current xp right so let's drag the current xp in the graph and let's type plus to get the add operator and let's connect 
the XP in the second pin. And now we need to check if this uh, result here is greater or equal than the XP to the next level. So let's drag from this and let's type greater or equal this one here, right? And in the second pin, let's connect the XP to next level. Let's connect here. And of course, this goes into a branch. So let's just get a branch here. Let's connect in the event dispatcher. And now, if this is true, that means that we need to level up, right? And if it's false, we just need to add the XP. So let's do the false first. So if it is false, we just need to add this XP here, right? So let's uh, hold Alt on the keyboard and drag the current XP variable here in the graph to create a set node. Let's connect from the false. And here we just need to connect these results here as the current XP, like so. But if this is true, we need to level up. So first we need to get the difference between these results here, right? And the XP to the next level. So let me just uh, make some room here. So let's drag from these results here, the, uh, the current XP plus the XP that we are adding, right? So let's drag from this and let's type minus to get a subtract node like so. And in the second pin, let's connect the XP to the next level. This one here, let's connect here. And this will be uh, the new current XP. So let's hold Alt on the keyboard and drag the current XP in the graph like so. Let's connect from the true here, right? And the current XP will be this result here. The, uh, the sum of the current XP plus the XP that we are adding minus the uh, XP to the next level. Basically, the difference between these two will be the current XP in this case. And now we need to set the new XP to next level because each time that we level up, I need more XP to go to the next level, right? So to do this, let's drag the um, XP to next level in the graph like so. And let's multiply this by the next level XP factor. So let's drag this as well in the graph, right? And basically, the result of this will be the new XP to next level. So let's hold Alt on the keyboard and drag this in the graph. Let's connect the execution pin here. And this result here will be the new XP to next level. So basically, each time that we level up, for the next level, we will need more XP uh, to level up, right? So after this, we just need to call the level up function. So let's drag the level up function in the graph and let's connect the execution pin. And there we go. This is basically the function. Okay, so now let's set some default values for these variables. So the current health, I will set this by default to 100 and I will do the same for the max health. So I will put 100 here. Um, the current level I will leave as zero the current XP I will leave as zero as well. The XP to next level um, I will put by default a hundred here. So to go from level zero to one, you will need a hundred XP, right? And the next level XP factor I will put here 1.3 like this, right? And now let's uh, enable the um, the instance editable here, you just need to click on this I to make this uh, instance editable, right? Let's enable for all these variables. And there you go. And this is basically it for this video. I will be creating more short videos like this, but for this component, this is basically it. In the second video, I will create the UI to show to the user uh, the player stats, right? So if you did like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't lose any new content. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep learning. I'll see you in the next video.